Like any enjoyable romantic comedy, Bros is smart and funny and somewhat touching at the end. The main characters are two gay men in their 40s who've never been in a committed relationship before and insist they're not looking for love. Comedian Billy Eichner stars and co-wrote the script with a filmmaker who directed Fifty First Dates. Hey guys, it's Bobby Lieber. Billy Eichner as Bobby is a podcaster and the director of a new gay history museum. Let me tell you what's progressive now, being alone. I love my life, I love my freedom, I love my independence. But when he sees Luke McFarlane as Aaron in a club, he's smitten. Gay guys are so stupid. I know. But we've been smart enough to brand ourselves as being smart. It's our little secret. You met a guy? I don't think I'm his type. He's like gay Tom Brady. But he texts Aaron to set up a date. I'm down for whatever. Yeah, I can do whenever and I can do whatever. Cool. Whatever, whenever. The two men don't quite know what to make of each other. I need you to be honest with me. You like these rowy meathead idiots. Oh, look, they're fighting. You like that? Hey. I can be tough like your you boys. Like oh, that's what you like, huh? Oh, yeah. The two start fighting and draw the attention of football players in the park. What's going on? That's cool. Bye -bye. In spite of their mutual attraction, Aaron in particular is wary. You're so different from me. You're very intense. I like to keep things chill. I can be chill. No, he can't. For me, one of the flaws of this rom-com is that Bobby sometimes comes off as arrogant and obnoxious. It's a little hard to believe that Aaron would want to be his partner. That said, I enjoyed the sharp, often funny dialogue and a glimpse into the lifestyles of 21st century gay people. The film deals with gay sex in a matter-of-fact way, but it's no more graphic in sex scenes than Hollywood rom-coms about heterosexuals. Bottom line, Bros is a lot of fun to watch. Terry Hunter, Hawaii News Now. Please leave. People are threatening to boycott the museum. You can't say Lincoln was gay.